brought you back in March. People have sent in dozens of ticks to U of A researchers. It's part of the Great Arizona Tick Check program that's been underway for nearly six months. 13 News reporter Shelby Slaughter joins us now live with this update. Shelby. From the brown dog tick to the black legged tick, researchers at the university are getting a better idea of ticks here in Arizona, and it hasn't even been a year yet. So, um, wow, <laughs> this is a lot of ticks. This is 51 ticks. And Dr. Kathleen Walker has been studying ticks for four like years. Right now, she is leading genetic testing on ticks at the University of Arizona as part of the Great Arizona Tick Check Program, an effort to help better understand ticks here in Arizona. The uh, main tick we have in Arizona is the brown dog tick. Um, I think it's in all 15 counties of Arizona, but we don't have proof of that yet. She says right now they need more samples of the brown dog tick from both Santa Cruz and Greenlee counties to help better prove this theory and what diseases they might carry. Thanks to the program, Dr. Walker and her team have already made some interesting discoveries. And these actually we collected ourselves. No. She says they went up to the mountains in Mojave they where they found the black legged Arizona. tick that's been... known to carry Lyme disease. And we not only found them, we found them in the exact same place. So that's a really strong indication that this is a stable population. We still don't know whether they're carrying Lyme disease. We really hope not. Um, and we're going to get them tested once we go back and do a second collection. Dr. Walker says they've also noticed some ticks expanding their range here in the state. But we've certainly found ticks that, um, like the, um, the Rocky Mountain wood tick, in a place that it wasn't known to be before. It's this kind of information that Dr. Walker says will help the program work with the CDC to see how many of these ticks are carrying illnesses and how widespread they are in the state. And good news, Dr. Walker tells me that most people who get bit by a tick in Arizona do not get sick. And if you want to send your tick in, uh, they like them to come in plastic bags or little vials like you see here. And they like their ticks to be dead. And you can just include a little bit of information about the tick that you found, like where it was collected, the location, and your travel history for the past two weeks. If you want to find more information about how to send your ticks in, you can find that up soon on our website. Reporting in Tucson, I'm Shelby Slaughter, 13 News. Oh, really interesting.